very excited to be talking about Azure Space, which is a unique set of offerings, partnerships, and some incredible people that are focused on innovation. Well, how's it different from what AWS is doing? Well, we think the approach that we're taking is fundamentally different from the software that we're building, which ranges from digital tools for space developers through to partnerships. And the partnership that we've announced today with SpaceX is a great example of that, that allows an Azure customer to connect from anywhere on the planet through any one of Starlink's 700 plus low Earth orbit or LEO satellites. How much does space... Uh, and, and that industry require either different architectures, different work, different go-to-market, because it seems like in terms of markets, it's not that big. I mean, you got the government, you got a few private companies that are involved in this. Why a whole separate division and effort focused on space? Well, John, actually, the space industry is growing incredibly. This year, it's going to top over $400 billion, and that's up 70% in the last 10 years. And one of the things we do at Microsoft is we listen closely to our customers. And our customers are requesting the ability to connect from anywhere on the planet into our cloud infrastructure, all the way from the edge to the cloud. I guess maybe even beyond the planet then, and uh, how much will uh, connectivity uh, going beyond the planet up into space factor into how this product is architected and how you grow it? Well, we're thinking about constantly growing our cloud infrastructure both here on the planet and off the planet. And what we're announcing today allows us to partner with some of the best people in the planet. That includes SpaceX. And today we've also announced a partnership with SES. So whatever space providers customers are working with, we're partnered with them to create an ecosystem around space. Is this a gateway to other industries? Meaning, you know, oftentimes, as we saw with Jedi, with military work, it, it leads to an argument that if we can do this, we can also do that. Does that work with space as well? Well, space is a technology that is being democratized. It used to just be the domain of governments and defense departments. And now technology is making it available for many different industries. In fact, agriculture is a great example where space connectivity can allow a farmer in the field to be making decisions on how to yield a crop or how to harvest. So space is about democratizing commercial industries and, of course, continuing to help governments. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.